Ready? <laughs> Welcome to I Wanna Make. This is the first episode in a series about making stuff. Each episode will feature something I wanna make, like robots, sensors, toys, or music, and then show the build process to the finished product. I wanna make, I wanna make stuff, I wanna make, I wanna make. You've seen those deal with it memes online, right? The first one was with a dog with sunglasses that slid down onto its face, and then there have been numerous iterations of it, thug life, etc. Look at the silly real life version with the string. For this episode, I want to make a pair of robotic deal with it glasses for my Halloween costume. Last year I made robotic angel wings, and the year before that, I made a robotic pumpkin with my friend Fede. So it's become sort of something of a tradition as do something robotic for Halloween. Now, Simone Gertz already made one of these, and I love her channel, but she used a robot arm to do it. And I want to use this as a Halloween costume, so it needs to be more portable. The requirements I'm setting for myself are make it lightweight, light enough to wear on my head or in a backpack, make it battery powered, make it sturdy and unlikely to break, and my wife requested one too, so I'll make one for her as well. I don't feel the need to make the glasses themselves, and I found these glasses that were 15 for 10 bucks, or maybe it was 10 for 15 bucks, so I just ordered them off of Amazon. Now I just need some sort of mechanism to move them up and down. I was looking for a cheap linear actuator, but they don't actually have enough thrower range. I did actually order a heavy duty one off of Amazon, but this would have to be worn in a backpack or something, so it wouldn't align well with your face without like a whole head harness or something, and it would be hard to turn your head. It would also take a lot of power, which I could deliver with a lipo and a relay, but, the, but I'd rather do it with something lighter. Amazon sells these cheap rack and pinion sets online for $9, but they don't come with any housing, so it's up to me to come up with something. What I think I'll do is 3D print a mount for them and have them attached to existing glasses. If I can't get it to work, I'll use the heavy-duty linear actuator as a backup. I'll use a continuous micro-servo to drive the glasses. They're not super strong, but the glasses are light. I think I'll just use one servo to operate them like a pair of opera glasses, but if that's too unsteady, I can use another on the other side too. So this is the design I made in Blender. It has a hoop that goes around the servo and two arms that go out to hold the pinion. Let's 3D print it and see if it works. These are some old versions. This one broke in half because uh, I didn't have uh, a wide enough space in the servo parts, the hole for the servo. And I also used supports, uh, but it's such a small part that I couldn't get these supports out. This is what happened when I tried to bridge the gap with no support in this tiny little thing. You can see it did bridge it, but then there wasn't enough room to get the pinion all the way through. So this version is nearly perfect. It has the pinion that slides easily, and the screws actually go through these little screw holes, so it's very solid, but it almost fits. It will make this spin here, but then it gets stuck there. So I just need to, I just need to push them down a little bit further out, and then I think we'll have it. I'm also going to go try sanding this to make sure that the screw will reach once I sand this in. And this servo horn goes further than the teeth of this gear, so I'm going to clip that as well. And now I'm just going to super glue the gear to this little horn. So the print is done, so here's the latest build, and let's see if it works. Alright, so we're going to try plugging this in for the first time. I hooked this up to a USB and I'm plugging it into the battery. Oh! It works! It works, it works, it works! It's a little loose, but I think it's good enough for rock and roll. All right. <laughs> so 
So now that my linear actuator works, we need a way to attach it to the glasses. I'm thinking of just attaching a clip to the glasses that is also mounted on the servo and is held up by your cheek. The screw that came with the micro servo doesn't fit all the way through the assembly, so I ordered this pack of micro screws from Amazon. I believe the horn screw is 2.2 millimeters, but this 2.3 millimeter screw worked okay. To attach the glasses, I first tried super gluing it, but that didn't hold long enough, so I drilled two tiny holes and used two of the micro screws I ordered to attach them to the glasses. Luckily, they're black, so I don't need to paint them. For the angel wings I made, I used an Arduino and a servo motor driver to make them flat, but that seems like overkill. I found these cheap $7 servo motor testers on Amazon that will work fine. It just has a knob to control the motor, no microchip needed. The only problem with the solution is that the pinion doesn't have any stops, so the motor doesn't stop on its own. I'm controlling it manually with this knob, so I'll 3D print a stop and glue it to the end of the pinion to stop it manually. Hopefully the servo won't overpower it and break something else. And I was using four AA batteries, but I realized I could just solder a USB cable to power it and use that, since USB power banks are so ubiquitous and small. So, uh, I had to make some adjustments to mine that we haven't made for yours. Yours is slightly different. Okay. Um, but it may be kind of loose is the only thing. So you may have to hold it up, but let's try it. Okay. So, can I put it on you? Okay. This goes here. <laughs> yeah, so, well. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, so you may have to hold it up like this. Okay. And... Like all day? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we can figure out some kind of adjustment for it. Alright. There it is. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, let me try it. Okay. <laughs> is it supposed to be like... Yeah, it looks great. Deal with it. Yeah, exactly. Like that. Yeah. And then show us your shirt. <laughs> Alright, let me let me try mine. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the glasses are designed and as silly as I hoped. I'm excited that now I have a cheap linear actuator I can use again for other projects. Thanks for watching and look for more Silly Robots on this channel.